Hey, fourth, fifth, and sixth grade class. Um, just wanted to remind you of what we were studying for this week, and this is the week of April 27th through May 1st. Um, what you're going to need today is make sure that you have your book right here, okay? You also got sent home some papers. Um, you had a word find and then you had a sentence page. Make sure you have those two things and a pencil. You're also going to need your um, sounds words page where you write the sounds and then you try to spell words with it too. So you're going to need a lot of those supplies today. So make sure you have everything you need. Stop the video, go grab them and then come back. Okay, we are concentrating on the soft C sound this week. Now, C has two different sounds. It has the K, and that's called the hard C, and then it has the S, which is the soft C. And the soft C will happen when a C comes before an E, an I, or a Y. So our example words are scent with the C-E, city with a C-I, and bicycle okay, for the C-Y. And this can happen anywhere in a word. It can happen at the beginning of a word, it can happen in the middle, or it can happen in the end of a word, as long as we have the C-E, the C-I, or the C-Y. All right, let's go ahead and get started on our lesson. Oops, okay. All right, we're going to do a little bit of word play. I'm going to ask you to echo a word after me, and then we're going to be replacing sounds within the word. So you'll have to listen carefully. So first word, like for you to say nice. So echo. Now say nice again, but instead of n, say d. What word do you have? Dice. Good. Now, say dice, echo, say dice again, but instead of d, say r. What word did you get? Rice. Good. Now, say rice, say rice again, but instead of i, say a. Replacing something besides the first letter there. You get race. Okay. Now say race. Say race again, but instead of r, say face. Good. Now say face. Say face again, but instead of the Say grr. A little bit different on this one. Grace. Good. Now say grace. Say grace again, but instead of grr, say sp. Okay. Space. Good. This is the last one. Say space. Say space again, instead of sp, say pool, place. Good job. Okay, all of these had the C-E part of our learning, okay? And that would be the soft C with the C-E in it. All right, now the next thing I need for you to do is to get out your um, your word find page. I know some of you kept your whole word find bundle. Great. I went ahead and sent this back because some people filled out the whole word find bundle. They didn't wait for any of the lessons. They just filled it out, which that's okay. But I want us to go ahead and concentrate on it on this lesson. So you got sent home this as a front page, and then you had another page back behind it. We're going to work on this page right now. So I want for you to take a minute, circle any C-I-C-E or C-Y words on this page. 
So pause the video, come back when you're done. All right, did you get done? Let's look and see what that page looks like after it's all filled out here. Okay, so let's look at our words. We have bounce, nice, mice, face. Now pause for just a second. I want us to look at this word right here. This has a C and an I, but is it in the correct order? No, so if we didn't know what this word was, okay, first of all, I see the final stable syllable, cool. So all we'd have to figure out is the first part. But since the I comes before the C, it doesn't follow that rule. So this would be pick and then cool, pickle, okay? So I thought that one might have been a little tricky. We have face, lace, slice, grace, sense, place, space, prince, twice. And if you said each one of these words, this one might have been a little confusing too because it does say s, but it happens to have an s that's making that sound on there. So hopefully you didn't circle that one. All right, so now that we have that done, Let's go to our next page. Well, that's not the next page that I want to go to. All right, this is the next page that you have. Notice that this says April 20th through the 24th. Well, on your page, I marked that out. So let me do the same here. And I put a new date on there and it doesn't, it wasn't due back for your homework on this time. Um, I didn't make it as far as I thought I would when I made this page, so it's going to be April 27th through May 1st. So that's going to make it look a little bit more like your page. But I want to go ahead and I want to give you the instructions for this page. It says, circle all of the soft C, C-E-C-I-C-Y words that say like scent, city, and bicycle. So that's step one, okay? Step two, then read them to someone and remember to use emphasizing on some words to make the sentences come to life, okay? Step three, on the back or underneath, you see I made lines this time, write at least three of these sentences and make them better by editing and revising them. So step three. And then number four, if you'd like, share some with me by texting or emailing them so I can see them immediately. Okay? I really love to see your work. So if you're doing that, you're not bothering me if you send me a text or an email or something like that. Okay? Now, I do want to remind you that when you are rewriting Make sure you don't use any dead words. I'm going to go back over those. Let me switch pages real quick. All right, here are our page, or here's the page, okay, to remind you of our dead words. And these are words that we don't want to overuse. So let's try not to use them at all on the three sentences that we're going to make better. So take a good look at them. Big, little, very, really, happy, sad, good, bad, like, small, tall, great like, likes, hot, cold, fun, thing, nice stuff, pretty, fat, mad. Okay, these are the words that you guys came up with, so make sure that you're not using them, okay? And once again, this is the way your page looks, all right? That's going to be due, okay? Let me, it's already on your page, but I didn't have it on mine, okay? But it's due, on May, um, let's see, for second, third, May 4th, okay? So you'll want to turn those in with your papers on the papers that are going to be coming back to school for May 4th, all right? And as always, okay, wanted to show you an example of one that I did, okay? So let's come back over here. So if I were going to read this sentence to somebody right here, um, I might want to read it a couple of different ways. So I might say, 
Cindy has a fancy lace dress. Or I might say, Cindy has a fancy lace dress. <clears throat> or I might say, Cindy has a fancy lace dress. So you can stress different things. Stressing and emphasizing different words makes a huge difference on how, um, how you remember things, and especially when you read. And I do hope that you all are reading during this time that we're not at school, okay? And here's an example of my sentence that I made better, okay? If you'll notice, I still have all of the same, let me get a pen here, all of the same words that the original sentence has. I have, Cindy has a fancy lace dress, but notice what I added a lot. So not only did I add more describing words, but I added some other things. So let's look. It says, my cousin Cindy has a fancy lace <clears throat> and polka dot dress that I will borrow for the dance tomorrow night. Okay, so I made, um, I told who Cindy was, Okay, told a little bit more about the dress because it was fancy lace and a polka dot dress. And I said that I was gonna borrow that dress for tomorrow night. So I gave a win, okay, and a wear for the dance. Wonder if you guys can make some sentences like that too. Okay, I hope you can. All right, so for the next part, I'm gonna need for you to get your sounds words page and your dry erase marker that goes with that. Grab that real quick. Okay, if you don't have those and you have to look for them, um, go shut off the video or pause the video and then come right back. Okay, but I'm gonna go ahead and get started. This is the part where I call out a sound and you spell all the different ways that we spell that sound. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a pen. I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna write with a green pen today. Okay, so, for our first sound, it's s. Echo it. S. Write that sound. How many different ways do we know how to spell that sound? Okay. Of course, we know that S makes that sound. Okay. But we also have, what else? Floss rule S makes that sound. And then we have the C E C I and the C Y that makes that sound also. Okay. So now we have what one, two, three, four, five different ways to say the s sound. Okay. Our next sound, full echo. Right, there are two ways that we have studied to spell full. Okay, first way, we have the suffix. That's why I have that suffix line there. F-U-L, so suffix F-U-L. And then we have final stable syllable, F-L-E. If I'm going too quickly, remember, you can pause, write, turn back on. Pause, write, turn back on. Don't let me answer all the questions for you. All right, next one. Eh. Two ways we spell the sound eh. Pause if you need to. Okay, we can spell that with the short E sound. And E-A also says eh, okay. as in bread. Next one, E, that's the long E sound, E. There are one, two, three, four, five, six ways to spell the E sound now. Pause the video for sure on this one. Get them all written down and then come back. Okay, so did you get E, consonant E? Then we have the suffix Y. So I'm gonna put a little suffix line there. Okay. 
And then we have the open E, as in so he fly. A little arrow after that one. Okay. E A. That's a vowel team that says that. I'm going to keep continuing on here. And then I have E E. Of course, we studied that one really fast. And we have one more. One that I hope stuck. We didn't have very many video lessons on this, but we have I E that can say E. All right. Let's go to the next one. A. Echo that sound. A. And there are four ways that we know how to spell the A sound. Pause, write them, and then come back. Okay, let's check. Did you get A consonant E? Then we have A Y. Okay, then we have E A as in steak. Remember that one? And then we have AI, as in rain. Okay. Next one. Er. Er. Okay. One way that we've talked about that, and that would have been suffix ER for er. Okay. Next one. Five ways to spell the s sound. Okay, pause the video if you need to. And what would that be? S. Floss rule S. And then we have the C before an E. C I. Oh, my letters got little. N C Y. Good. We had that up there on number one, too, didn't we? Five ways to spell the s sound now. Okay. Next sound. O. There are four ways that we've learned to spell the sound O. Pause, write them, and come back. All right, so we have, of course, O consonant E. We have the open O, as in the so he fly, open syllable. O U can say O, as in dough or donut. And O A, as in boat. Next sound, I. Echo, I. Many ways for this one. Okay. Four ways to spell the I sound. Pause, then come back. What did you get? We have I consonant E. Then we have Y, as in the so he fly, Y. We have, ooh, this one might have been kind of hard to remember. Remember when we studied not too terribly long ago, I-G-H, as in light bulb. Remember, that was our keyword on that one. And then we had one, we didn't study this very much, but we have the I-E. And remember, I, E can say I, or up here, I, E could have said E. So either one of those, either one of these vowels could take over in that word, or in that um, vowel team, couldn't it? Okay. And then our final one is ed. Okay, just one way. Quickly, what did we get? Suffix. E D ed. Okay. So if we hear that, especially at the end of a word, we know that suffix E D. Good. Okay. Now let's see. Okay. Well, we don't have time to go on and spell words with our new C E, C I, or C Y. 
20 minute video is about as long as I think that we need to make them. So what I'd like for you to do is to remember, let's go back here just a little bit, okay, that you have a page that is a homework page, okay, I would like for you to follow all of the directions on this homework page. Remember that I have changed the dates on this one. So it's April 27th to May 1st is the week that you should be watching the video. And then this page will be due on May 4th. I hope you had a good time. I hope you're doing well. And I hope that you have a good rest of your day. But until we meet again on our next video, bye-bye.